Hey, and welcome to Make a Mark Studios. I'm Miss V, and today we're going to be talking about the hashtag birthday color challenge. To get your prompt, you're going to use your birthday. You'll see all 12 months, you have their own individual five color scheme. You'll use the day of your birth, 1 through 31, to get the setting of your artwork. Go to the link below to find each large high resolution download of the color schemes for every month of the year. When you find yours, you'll right click it and save your color scheme. Here's my color scheme for the month of March. It has a nice mix of dark colors and light colors. You'll hear me talk a lot as I'm working about the importance of organizing and naming your layers. I recommend using an approach of background, midground, and foreground. Here's my example of my finished haunted house. Something you'll notice a lot is how I employ contrast, place light colors next to dark colors. We're going to be using a free web-based digital drawing app called Clucky. It can be found at clucky.com. I'm going to start by going to File and importing my color scheme as a layer. And I'm going to use this to sample my colors. I'm going to rename this layer my color scheme layer. And let's get started working from back to front. So I'm going to add in my first layer of my background. As you're working, don't forget to take frequent save breaks. Sampling each of my colors from my color scheme, I'm going to start to build up my background. My next step is to add another layer, my mid-ground, and I'm going to rename this layer. On this particular layer, I'm going to put my haunted house. Notice that it's on top of my background so that they're separated. I start by sketching it out, kind of like a rough draft on this layer, and then I'm starting to work with the rest of my five colors and my color scheme to build some contrast with the image that sets on top of the background. You'll have to make a lot of decisions about which colors go next to each other. You can be really strategic about the way that you place these colors to make certain areas stand out and to define certain edges. I highly recommend that you challenge yourself not to use white or black. Try to make all of your outlines one of the five colors. As you're working digitally, you can zoom in on tinier areas to add more detail. Zooming in is also really helpful for refining those little details and those cleaner edges. I'm gonna create some glow on the left side where the moon is casting onto the haunted house. My last step is to add in my foreground layer. I'm going to add that layer and rename it. For this layer, I'm going to include anything that I want to be closer to the viewer. So I'm going to add in a spooky old tree and an old fence along the front of my composition. For this layer, I'm going to continue exploring how the moon affects these certain subjects. So creating a little bit of glow from the moon onto the tree.
My last step is to add in this creaky old gate in front of my spooky house. I'm going to add a little bit of wood grain with a contrasting lighter blue and add some fun little detail. When you're done, don't forget to go to File and save your work. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful. Feel free to subscribe for more videos from Make a Mark Studios, helping you to make your mark through art.